titled Capacity Building for Industry Demand, the program is based on technical vocation and education training in Uganda and is part of a specialized program formulated in 2020. However, its implementation was disrupted by the COVID-19 outbreak. Two years later, the Ministry of Education, together with the South Korean government through the Korea International Cooperation Agency, is finally bringing the program to life. This project, Honorable Minister, was conceived out of the identified need that whereas the institutions had been upgraded, there were still gaps in the capacity to link them with industry. And the capacity of the instructors to manage the upgraded institutions was inadequate. Under this program, 2,400 vocational students over the next six months will undertake short courses in fashion and garment design welding and fabrication, plumbing, automotive mechanics, as well as electrical installation systems and maintenance. The program will be implemented in the vocational institutions of Intinda Training Institute, Kampala, Arua Training Institute, Chiriandongo Training Institute, St. Benedict Training Institute in Mwende, Nyakatale Training Institute in Kanungu, as well as Iganga Training Institute. Apart from the learners, 180 instructors will also be undertaking the course, especially in areas of equipment handling and improved teaching capacity. And the uh, ultimate goal of our project uh, is to contribute to the uh, industrial society uh, by nurturing skilled workers for suitable uh, for the industrial area. Launching the program today, the Minister of State for Higher Education, Dr. John Chrysostom Moingo, has noted that skills development among the youth is one of the pillars upon which the country's development is resting. Of course, the challenge that government is out to address is equipping the youth with the right mindset. This is one of the biggest challenges. And of course, even the skills required in the world of work. But with satisfaction that this project aims to ensure that the skills acquired by the youth are those that are, demand, are demanded by the industry. I'm also happy that training of instructors to deliver this model takes a significant portion of this project. South Korea's ambassador to Uganda believes it's critical for the country to make use of its youthful population by offering it a skills-based education. The future of this young nation lies in how to educate them as a competitive manpower. More crucially, technical and vocational education cannot underrate it. And through this kind of education, more and more youth will have more job opportunities. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.